I'm David Kersel of Spraymation, and I'm here to do a quick, brief presentation about basic automatic test panel machine operation and things that operators need to be aware of to maintain their personal safety. These machines are used to prepare paint sample panels similar to this. A lot of times in a lab, human spray paint operators prepare panels. But one of the problems with people trying to uh, move a spray gun at a consistent velocity, there actually is a variation in their stroke velocity of 20% or more. A variation of 20% speed increase results in a coating thickness of minus 20%. And if they slow down during the stroke, that results in an increased coating thickness. The advantage of this machine is it is a motor-driven device that moves the spray gun across in front of the panels at a fixed speed. And there is no variation during the course of the painting stroke that will affect the film build as it happens. Uh, the other thing that this machine does that a human painter can't do is as someone would spray across, it's very common for their wrist to, at the beginning of the stroke, be slightly at an angle, come out perpendicular to the targets, and then angle off at the far end. This machine, because it's all metal, it doesn't have any of those wrist movements. So those spray patterns are always perpendicular to the target area. This particular machine is, is located in a large open area, some spray labs have. But many spray labs put a machine like this in a four foot wide spray booth. If this machine were in a four foot wide spray booth, the wall of the booth would be approximately here where my arm is, and there are only a few inches between the side of the uh, gun mounting assembly and the wall of the spray booth. For the installations where the machine is in a narrow spray booth, there is a crushing hazard between the wall of the spray booth and the mounting bars for the spray guns. The same hazard exists on this side of the machine. And so one of the things that we always recommend is that you never reach around the machine from either side to access the panels or anything else. The only place you should be reaching across the machine is in the middle and in the middle when the emergency stop has been pushed in. It's expected that all operators of Spraymation automatic test panel machines will have been trained by their supervisors, and maybe a video like this may help. Uh, the machines are supposed to be located in a restricted area where only people who are, um, uh, have been trained in how to operate them have access. The people who actually use the machine should rely on their supervisors uh, for advice when they have questions. Every machine is provided with a, a detailed instruction manual that has instructions specific to the machine that you're using that describes all the features, program things. It has diagrams in it for maintenance, assembly drawings, wiring diagrams, all kinds of things will be needed for maintenance. Two copies of this are shipped with the machine, and the actual operation instructions should be available for the operators. We also, for most machines, have an abbreviated set of operator instructions, which is four pages long, and can be kept in the spray machine area. Now, right now, this machine is off, so obviously the first thing you have to do is turn it on. If you walk up to a panel machine, and switch the main power switch from off to on, and the machine doesn't start, it may be because the machine is not yet purged. When the machine has electrical power but doesn't have any air pressure connected to the purging system, the group of green LEDs in the pur purge control enclosure will be blinking. This indicates that power is being applied to the machine, but there is no air pressure 
available to purge the control box. When compressed air is available to the purge system to purge the control box, the lights change from blinking green to solid yellow. The purge process takes approximately seven minutes for enough clean compressed air to circulate through the main control boxes and expel any flammable vapors that could be inside of this electrical control box. After seven minutes of purging, the solid yellow lights turn off and the green lights reappear being continuously on, indicating that the purge cycle is complete and this machine is safe to use in a hazardous location. Now right now this machine is off, so obviously the first thing you have to do is turn it on. The, uh, the display will power up. We'll show you that in a little more detail later on. It indicates the model number and Brunson Diagnostics and things. And there is a menu system which will be discussed with a close-up of the control box in a few minutes. Whenever the machine is on, and you're ready and you're ready to do something here, emergency stop should be pushed in. When the emergency stop is pushed in, there is no power, electrical power going to any of the motors. All the valves that control spraying, that trigger the gun, that control air pressure, and everything else have the power disconnected. So nothing's going to move, nothing is going to suddenly start spraying, nothing is going to happen. So if we wanted to do a quick gun test, We'd use the menu, we'd go down, we would select, whoa, the test functions. We'd say yes. Sorry. Say yes. We'd go down again into a second menu, spray guns, and say yes again. The screen reminds us that emergency stop is pressed in, and all we have to do is press start to get the spray gun to pull, run. Okay. So if we're going to do anything, we still have emergency stop in. We can touch the gun mounting bar, the spray gun. We can do something to the panels. Once we pull out emergency stop, this machine is armed. It's ready to run. Motors have power. Spray guns have power. So from now on, until the emergency stop is pushed in again, we shouldn't be crossing an imaginary plane right here and sticking our hands or touching anything. Now we can push start, it turns on the spray gun. To push stop, it turns off the spray gun. We can do it again, off and on as many times as we need. This can be used to fill the paint lines, fill the spray gun with paint. It can be used for flow testing, whatever you need to do with that kind of testing before you do this, the spray. When you're done with your setup or your flow testing, press emergency stop, always press emergency stop. Now if you're going to prepare to actually paint some panels, the machine is an emergency stop, so you can put your arms or your body in this area, mount your target panels to the magna bars, and go back and select uh, automatic painting to paint the, the last script that was put into memory. Uh, there is another function that is a recall script, which will be detailed later in the video. The script that you have loaded into the machine remains in memory, remains ready to use, even if you power the machine off, power it back on, or come back the next day. So when you walk up to the machine, you need to verify that the script that's actively in the machine is the one you want to run, or you need to load the one you want to use. We will say yes. We will confirm that the name of it is test stop, which is the demonstration script I'm using today. It asks us if we want to fill the spray gun. This is very similar to the test we just did, uh, and it can be turned on or off. And some machines have this feature and some don't. Uh, we're going to say no. The display is going to tell us we can push start to begin, and it also reminds us that emergency stop is pressed in. So once we've confirmed that everything is ready, we pull out emergency stop. It applies the power to the motors, the spray guns, everything. Anything can move now. 
we push start to begin the cycle. The green cycle active light begins to blink. This shows you that the machine is actually painting a cycle. The index resets itself. The horizontal resets itself and does a speed check. Once it gets home, it'll do the first painting stroke. Between painting strokes, the vertical index moves so the painting strokes will overlap. This particular painting sequence that I've chosen has a short delay, a dwell time at the end of each stroke. This, this, this dwell doesn't have to be there any longer than it takes to move the panels, but in some coatings you want some drying time between the strokes. As an operator you have to be aware that there are times that the traverse stops moving, like right now, between coats. This script has two coats. We finished the first coat. Now there's some time for flash. Right now the cycle active is still blinking, so this machine is still armed. Anything can happen. In the detail video of the screen, you'll see how you can watch timers count down. You can know what's happening in the script, where you're at, what stroke you're in, what coat you're in, and a lot of other information that might help you determine what's going on. The machine starts suddenly without any real warning. But the cycle active light has been blinking all the time. You can push stop if you need to stop the, the process for some reason, but it's only stop, so you should not be touching anything if you push stop. If you push stop in the middle of a painting stroke, when you push start again to restart it, you may lose part of that painting stroke. If you push emergency stop when it's in a, a waiting period, in a flash or a dwell time, the timer keeps running and nothing happens when you pull out the emergency stop. You have to push the start button again to start the painting process. This may slightly change the timing involved in preparing the panels, but no strokes will be missed. This machine has a feature to clean the spray gun at the end of the operation, so you can say yes or no. And you should also notice that the cycle active light has stopped blinking because the operation is complete. We will say no, the cycle's ended, and the machine is ready for the next painting process. We push the emergency stop again before we reach across the machine to pull the panels off so that we're always safe. When you're ready to use the machine, always begin by pushing the emergency stop in to make sure that the machine will not unexpectedly start by moving, spraying, or providing air pressures to the process. Turn the main power switch from off to on. The display will light up. It will identify the, the machine, the software revision, the model, and any special features that the machine has. The machine is completely menu driven. We have various functions which are selected by the up and down arrows, automatic painting, edit the script, memorize the script, delete a script, fluid totals, test functions, diagnostics, configuration, recall script, and automatic painting. Most times when using the machine, the first thing you'll need to do is to either fill the paint hoses and the spray applicator with the coating you're going to be using or doing a flow test. This is normally done by go scanning down and going to test functions, saying yes when you get to the menu, and then within the test functions there are a number of different test functions. This first one being horizontal, vertical, air pressures, flow rates, and spray guns. Ray guns are what we want to test today. We uh, click yes, and the test is ready to go. The display tells us that we need to press start to begin, but it also reminds us that emergency stop is active. So to begin the test, we have to pull out emergency stop, and now we can push start 
to begin uh, actively spraying or filling with the spray gun. The display shows that the gun is activated. You can push stop to end it, and we're only using gun one. The stop button changes it. We could use change to go to gun two or to use both guns. We can press start again to start it and stop to end it. When we're done, we press emergency stop to keep the machine safe, main menu, main menu twice to get back to the, the real main menu, and we go up to recall script. The machine remembers the last script that was used in automatic painting. Different people may be using the machine you're using, and the machine has memory capabilities that will store about 4,000 different painting scripts. They're given a name, so we can uh, choose to recall one. The, the name is, is alphanumeric. It can be meaningful for what you're doing. Rotating the knob lets you pick between a bunch of different ones. The one we're going to use today is called test stop. We say yes to recall it. It's done in a fraction of a second. Uh, we can depress any key, and we're back at the main menu. If we're going to run this, then we are going to go down one step to automatic painting. The script is ready to paint. When doing automatic painting, the display has a lot of information to tell us about what's happening in the painting script. First thing to do is press yes to say that we want to do automatic painting. It confirms the script name that is presently loaded. We say yes again. Some machines ask us if we want to fill the spray gun, which is very similar to the test we did previously. We're going to say no to this one today. It tells us that we push the start uh, button to activate the program, and it reminds us that emergency stop is pressed in and active. So we will pull out emergency stop, and we will push start to ha begin the program. The first time the machine is running the day, the vertical index needs to do a reset to find the bottom position. And the horizontal axis needs to locate the left side of the machine. Then it does a speed check, moves to the starting point, and does the first painting stroke. There's a dwell time between the strokes in this program. The segment number increments as the various strokes are completed. The display also shows you if it's doing dwell time, if it's moving, if it's painting, if the index is moving, how much time is left, and various things that you as the operator might care about. As before, this script has a flash time between the two codes. The segment number has had the middle digit increment to two to tell you it is the second code of the script, and the flash time is counting down from the program flash time to zero, when it reaches zero, the uh, motion and spraying will start again. That was the last stroke. The vertical index is returning to its bottom home position. The machines have a panel loading position, which is slightly higher than the bottom position, to make it easier to load and unload the panels. Then ask you if you want to clean the spray guns, which is very similar to the test function. We're going to say no, and the cycle is finally complete. I hope this helps uh, give some new operators a little insight to how to operate the machines, how to be safe while they're operating the machines, and to always use emergency stop, not only on this machine, 
on all other machines that they're using. Thank you.